See, look, I bet the cool part about being down with them secret societies is the fact that they could hide on some occult shit, on some hidden in plain sight shit, on some masquerading shit. You know what I'm saying? I got my ma- I got my I got my mask on type shit. I know what you did last summer, scream mask on type shit, you feel me? Yeah, they could hide at first, you feel me? Cause one nobody privy to the hand gestures, to the signs, to the symbols and all of that shit that they come with. These people that's of these secret societies, these uh, occult societies, these esoteric ass societies, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like sisterhoods, brotherhoods, fraternities, sororities, all that type of shit, you feel me? You know who the mother of all sororities are, you feel me? That's the Order of Eastern Star. You know who the father of all fraternities are, right? That's the Freemasons. You can't uh, be a female and join the Order of Eastern Star if you don't have um, relations, close relations to a uh, a mason that's down with the Freemasonic order, order, right? So, yeah, I bet it was all good when these motherfuckers could hide and masquerade in society. You feel me? Because um, then they were able to entrap motherfuckers quickly. Then they were able to uh, snare motherfuckers, basically, you know, when they were able to hide. But now that the world is waking up, the dead is arisen. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers be acting like the dead just gonna pop up out of the grave on some zombie shit and just start walking around and you gotta just shoot the heads off of zombies. Nah, nigga, the dead is those that were dead to the truth. Dead to the light of what's really going on. You feel me? Dead to God's light. You feel me? Now we're waking the fuck up. And even those that are dead in um, these Freemasonic orders, you feel me, that's been given this false light, that's been blinded in one eye. You feel me? I mean, you got to be blinded to even join these motherfucking organizations and they make you believe that you're coming from darkness and walking into light when really you're coming from uh, not being deceived 100%. To blindfolding yourself and now you're really in fucking darkness because now you don't even know what the fuck you don't walked into because it was dark when you was walking into the shit you feel me so yeah the dead is definitely a ri- arisen you feel me the dead is rising right the fuck now because people are waking up they call this the worldly version of this shit is called the age of aquarius right but really, you know what I'm saying, it's the age of technology, the age of information. You can get your bitch ass on the internet and just Google some shit, bro. You ain't got to be fucking in the dark, bro. Motherfuckers want to act like they can't figure some shit out. Nigga, just go online and Google it. You want to know how tall Jesus Christ was? Go online and Google it. Yeah, I bet you would get a motherfucking answer. Five, yeah, I bet it'll say 5'5". Five, five. And motherfucker, they they gonna say Jesus was five five. That's what it's gonna say, whether it's true or false. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get a fucking answer, bro. These days, you and then you have to have the discernment to know what's true and what's not true. And that's where the spirit of God comes from. You feel me? What Christians call the ruach kach. Uh, my bad. That's what Christians call the Holy Spirit. And what uh the Hebrews of that Paleo Hebrew shit they call the ruach kach kadesh. You feel me? Um, basically it's just the spirit of God. You feel me? The spirit of God, when, once it's in you, bro, you have discernment and you can discern what's real, what's fake, what's true, what's false. You have that spirit within you. So your spirit going to tell you before your mind tells you, Hey, this is not right. Or, Hey, this is, this is pretty accurate. Or, Hey, stay away from this person. Or, Hey, this person is okay. Your spirit's going to let you know, cause it's going to feel troubled when you around some bullshit. When some bullshit is around you, some fake shit going on, bro, your spirit is going to feel trouble. Your spirit ain't going to lie to you. Your spirit is not a whole ass nigga. But Satan's kids, these narcissistic individuals at this motherfucker, Satan's kids, these generations of, of vipers, they don't have the spirit of God within them. That's why they're not empathetic. That's why they cannot empathize and put themselves in your shoes and understand what the fuck you're going through, bro. That's why they don't feel what the fuck a, a child of God feels. They, they're they just wicked, bro. All they can do is see out of the left eye. They're wicked as fuck. All they see is materialism money greed fame uh you know what i'm saying sex uh <laughs> shit of the world bro carnal things you feel me these are these are, these are satan's kids they have satan's dna that's why they're able to be down with gang gang and be down with the clique that's why they're wicked as fuck that's why they're the murderers out here that's why they're there they're the motherfuckers out here just caught wreaking havoc on america wreaking havoc on all nations really but yeah man i bet it was really good when when motherfuckers weren't able to wake up and see what's going 
going on. And now motherfuckers can see what's going on. Not everybody, because some people are still sleeping. That's the beauty about God, man. When God, God will, it, it says many are called, but few are chosen. When God calls on you, man, shit, you have a choice. You're at a fork in the road right there. Either you can go left and keep doing the same bullshit that you've been doing and die in your fucking sins. That's the blue pill. Or you can take the red pill and you can go right and wake the fuck up and shit, try to live righteously. You ain't going to be perfect. You still going to fuck up because you human, but at least you're going to be able to acknowledge your mistakes and know right from wrong and have ethics and morals and you feel me, uh, be able to say, hey, man, I fucked up. I, I repent. Repent, you know, God, I repent for my sins. I repent for my transgressions. And don't think that transgressions are uh, not abide, abiding by the Bible. Transgressions are not uh, obeying the law. What is the law? The law are those Ten Commandments that God sent to Moses twice. Not once, but twice. He wrote them things in the stone twice. After they got messed up, the, Moses messed them up the first time, God gave them back to Moses. That's how you know he meant that shit. He reiterated that shit. He stand on that shit. These are the Ten Commandments. You need to motherfucking live by this shit, bro. T uh, transgression is, or sinning, sinning is transgression. It's just not abiding by the law, not obeying the law, bro. That's easy as shit to keep Ten Commandments. You can keep all of these fucking rules and regulations of the land, uh, of the traffic laws of your apartment, of your fucking job, but you can't keep 10 fucking commandments of God? Come on, get the fuck out of here, bro. So, yeah, man, when you ain't keeping them fucking commandments, bro, then, yeah, shit, you, sub you, you subjugated to be attacked by all sides, bro. I know, because I've been there. I'm not perfect shit. I fall short all the time, bro. You feel me? I get tempted as well. So, and God punishes me. You feel me? He don't let me just get out free. Scotch free, you feel me? He he handles my ass. He chastises me, and I have to deal with that shit. You feel me? And I have to real. I have to be a fucking adult and say, yeah, man, I get it. I made a mistake. God, I apologize. I repent for my sins. Um, please forgive me for my trans for my transgressions. You feel me? And then I have to just try to get back on track. You feel me? So yeah, I bet these motherfuckers that's down with these secret societies hate the fact that motherfuckers are starting to wake up because it's exposing who the fuck they are. They can't hide anymore. How the fuck? You, that's like a big ass fucking bear trying to hide in the middle of the fucking street bitch I see you get your bitch ass out the goddamn street ho get your bitch ass out the motherfucking way nigga get your bitch ass out the motherfucking way I see you, ho. Move the fuck out the way, bitch. I see what the fuck you doing. You're all in the motherfucking way. You stopping traffic. You keeping shit from going. Work. Well, you keeping motherfuckers trying to get to their destination. Get your bitch ass out the motherfucking way, right? Okay, so that's what the fuck it is when you're dealing with these secret society motherfuckers. You got these Freemasonic order motherfuckers. You got these uh, Eastern Star motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You see them by their hand dressers. What does it say in Proverbs? I believe it's like 612 or some shit like that. It's like they wink with their eye. They 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 tap with their feet. You know what I'm saying? They signal with their hands. They And it says these are motherfuckers of corruption. These are motherfuckers that will set your bitch ass up for a life insurance policy, bro. These are motherfuckers that will have have your ass set up in a snare and be at your fucking funeral crying like they motherfucking uh sad and shit but they finna get that big ass payout they crying those are happy tears nigga those are crocodile happy tears nigga i'm finna get this big ass payout man this motherfucker gone man this money finna hit the account and then next thing you see these motherfuckers taking trips these motherfuckers going to places they bitch ass I ain't never been before eating food that they ain't never been before Eight before, uh, rocking clothes that they ain't never rocked before. Bitch, you ain't never had no money to do that shit. Hey, bitch, live in places they ain't never lived before. Man, they setting motherfuckers up. They sacrificing motherfuckers out here. Boy, y'all better wake the fuck up. And guess what? If you think you finna bring your bitch ass, your pussy ass, your, your secret society pussy ass to these comments and finna drop some shit to motherfucker try to, uh, sway people to not believe this motherfucking message, then guess what? Uh, backspace and delete and block a bitch ass niggas. What the fuck? I'm on all 2024. It's the motherfucking mag and I'm out.